Recently, we tore down the Surface Laptop 3 and found that Microsoft had greatly improved its repairability. It went from being one of the worst devices we had ever seen to earning a respectable 5 out of 10. Today, we've got our hands on the brand new Surface Pro X. With a sleek redesigned form factor and a brand new anodized aluminum case, we're wondering if the Pro X got any repairability upgrades. There's only one way to find that out, and that's to tear it down. Spying a secret port on the back of the Surface Pro X, we find a hidden compartment that's home to a removable SSD. SSD upgrades and replacements don't get much easier than that. This 128GB SSD is the same type of replaceable drive we found in the Surface Laptop 3. With no other secret compartments to be found, we turn our attention to the display, which is the usual way of opening a Surface Pro device. If you've ever taken apart a Surface Pro, you know the display can be tricky. They're usually held in place by strong adhesives and take a long time to remove. This one does feel noticeably easier to separate, but you still need a ton of careful prying to get it off. The display is attached to the motherboard by a long cable, and both sides of the connector are either hidden beneath the heatsink or shields. Speaking of shields, every conceivable thing on this board is covered by a shield. All the screws, connected cables, everything is covered by these shields that have to be scraped up and off the board. Hours later, when we have all the shields off, we finally get to work on removing some components. First up, the NanoSIM and the SSD port. The speakers come out next, and so does the Surface Connect port. Trying to make our way to the cameras, we run into a little puzzle. There's a front-facing sensor bar that's holding the cameras in place, but it's connected to something mysterious under the motherboard. Fortunately, just loosening it up a bit allows for enough space to remove the Windows Hello camera that handles face authentication, the 10-megapixel rear-facing camera, and the 5-megapixel front-facing camera. The motherboard has a few screws holding it in place, but once they're out, the board slides right out of the case. On the board, we can see the SQ1 processor that Microsoft collaborated with Qualcomm on, and the 8GB of LPDDR4X RAM. We're left with the battery, which is still, unfortunately, glued into the case. This is a 7.58 volt, 38.2 watt hour battery, which Microsoft says will provide you with about 13 hours of typical device usage. With our Surface Pro X completely disassembled, it's time to talk repairability. The Surface Pro X scored a 6 out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, the user-removable SSD makes for easy upgrades and data security that doesn't require device destruction. To the extent that screws are used, they're all standard Torx fasteners. Many components are modular and can be replaced independently. Almost all repairs require display removal with an improved procedure that needs no heat but necessitates careful prying. But on the downside, the battery is firmly glued in place with its connector pinned under the motherboard, requiring near total disassembly for service. If you want to see more Microsoft teardowns, check out our Surface Laptop 3 video. And while you're there, hit subscribe. Happy fixing!